I'm Allison Ishman. I'm here at Oakworks today demonstrating fascial link therapy, which is fascial neuromuscular therapy. Uh, we're working today on the Oakworks uh, ProLux convertible, which is uh, a great uh, new product that allows us to turn our portable tables into lift tables. So you can take your portable table, just about any portable table, and put it on top of this wonderful lift mechanism. And it really gives you the chance to save your back and shoulders. So we're going to start off, if you'll come on in here, and we're going to put your head down here. Uh, for your clients that are having a hard time getting on and off the table, it is really convenient to be able to, to set it even lower. It goes very low. Um, and then you, as they're settled and they're comfortable, you can begin to bring them up. I'm going to give this to you for your knees. We're using an Oakworks Air Bolster. It's an 8-inch bolster, which gives us quite a bit of support for the knees. It takes a lot of pressure off the lumbar spine for those that may be experiencing discomfort in their lumbar spine. Uh, we're looking to sh work superficial to deep through fascia. Uh, we're dealing with compensating structures at the same time that we're dealing with painful structures. We're working through fascial layers. Uh, right now we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work with the uh, flexor retinaculum located at the uh, ankle. It actually shows both on the uh, lateral and the medial aspect of the ankle, attaches to the calcaneus. Um, and we're going to link this area with the iliotibial band. The iliotibial band, I'm just going to go a little lower, originates uh, on, the, on the pelvis at the ischial, um, at the iliac crest and comes down. It tends to wrap into this greater trochanter of the femur and comes down the leg, attaching below the knee. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to apply our techniques in those areas. Uh, I'm actually going to cross the body just for convenience. So we're going to start here. Uh, we're working from the foundation up, so this is a good basic technique to learn. It starts right near the feet. We're going to warm the area a little, so I'm going to use a little pressure. I'm just going to try to assess the thickness and tone of the tissue while I'm compressing it to warm it up. And then we're going to check with our client. Certainly when you're first learning, it's a good time to really spend some time talking to your client. Uh, scale of one to five for me, Minnie, how, how sore is that? About a three. About a three. Okay. And then I'm just going to cross the body. I'm going to look for similar fascial structures up here. So I'm just going to use a little compression with my hands. I'm actually going to lower it. It is convenient. I'm just doing a little compression and I'm looking for fiber bundles. Through the iliotibial band, you'll often find differences in the thickness and tone closer to the knee and it may change as you hit the center uh, fibers and then as you go more anterior or more superior uh, on the anterior fibers you'll find a change in tone sometimes again. She's wearing these pants which conveniently allow us to separate middle fibers, they're in the white area. And then posterior fibers closer to the hamstring, just relax your leg for me. Not hurting you, am I? Okay. And we're just compressing. We're just checking for thickness. We're warming and reducing uh, any waste that we can from compressions, bringing in some blood flow. So comparably, this is pretty tight stuff up in here. On a one to five, is that about a three? Yeah. So we're going to apply a dual release technique. We're going to work in two areas that are compensating areas. Uh, the hips and the ankles tend to be compensating areas, so we're going to work with flex flexor retinaculum down here at the heel. We're looking for about that three level. Would you call that a three? And then I'm just going to reach across. I'm going to stabilize my body mechanics up against the table and provide some pressure. How about that? About right? And the client should feel a sense of relief, release in that release point one, the first area we worked with, by holding release point two. And then generally it takes between 3 and 15 seconds to feel a release with the dual release technique. So I can check with her about now. Is it clear? Okay. And then we'll come back down to this area. And I'm just going to put about the same pressure. Is that about the same pressure? Mm -hmm. And is it sore? Yeah. So it's fast work. You should get results in a fairly short period of time. Uh, and then you should be able to move on to other structures. If you're interested in more information about fascial link therapy, you can visit us online at iBodyCare.com. Uh, there you can find class information and a fascial link therapy book. Thanks for your time and thanks for joining us at Oakworks today.